if you're looking for some coins to boost your FIFA 19 squads with the best new players right now, then head over to MuleFactory.com. Their comfort trade system is the quickest, easiest and safest way to purchase FIFA 19 coins. Check them out now with the link down below. What's up guys, Curtis here and welcome to a brand new FIFA 19 video. Now, I know, not really uploaded for the last few months, that's because no interest for me in FIFA. I've started playing these new FIFA lads, genuinely having a really good time in it. I want to make some videos over the next like couple of weeks, months, whatever, however long the interest lasts. Obviously YouTube is just fun for me now, it's not, I, I don't do it as my job anymore, I, I quit YouTube basically as a job like a year ago, so now this is like a fun pet project sort of thing, and uh, I wanted to, to make some flipping FIFA videos today, so that is what I'm doing. Today though, we're starting off with an Arsenal flipping career mode. Now, um, as always, it's been the case ever since I started YouTube, my lighting is inconsistent at best. Um, I've got like a big sun shining in my face here. Everything's kind of off off kilter to be honest. The lighting's not great, so that's going to be a thing. Um, but basically, I wanted to do another Arsenal career mode. I do one of these every year because I kind of find it a fun way to get used to the new FIFA, just a little bit of uh, career mode. But not only that, it's with Arsenal and Arsene Wenger's gone, so... Um, oh, so these are the same as last year. Uh, we're going to be Arsene Wenger and... Um, I won't do the accent over the E, but we're, we're gonna bring we're gonna bring Arson back, but we're gonna do it the way he would have liked to have gone. I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, we're gonna win something in this season, and uh, yeah, we're gonna be we're gonna be the top boys uh, in the Premier League. So got an all right squad to start off with in FIFA terms. Obviously, Aubameyang, Lacazette up top. Got Torreira. You got there's some players in there. There are some players. Uh, let's start world class. I don't know how that. Will go. Oh, there we go. I'm struggling to click on it. We'll start on that. Let's see how that goes. I don't really know. Pound sterling. We want European competitions enabled. Looking forward to that. I know it's going to be Europa League Thursday nights. Should be a bit of fun though. <laughs> Should be a bit of fun. So, in fact, I'm going to turn this light down a little. Is that a bit? That's way better. Why didn't I start with that? That is much much better. I actually don't look like I've. Uh, just because there's a flipping a light shining on my face. Right. Um, we all know what's going on here. I've got flipping cables under my desk now as well. Oh, lads, honestly, I'm having a nightmare today. My, my PC's blue screened about six times this morning. That being said, I'm beating on Ultimate Team. So, you know, never it's like I never left. Don't know what I'm saying. So we've got Lucas Torreira, which is going to be nice. We've got Bern Leno. We've got some, some sick little players. Um... So we've got a nice foundation to start off with here, but there's there's a few changes uh, that, that we're going to make. I feel like it'll be better if I'm over here, because um, there's actually important stuff in the top left. So uh, we'll move me over here. Right, so my scouts have given me literally... Why would you even do that? This is a waste, waste of everyone's time with those scouts. Let's look at how we're going to set up the squad. In fact, I'm going to tell you exactly how we're going to set up the squad. I'm going to set it up a little bit something like this. I'm going to banish Granite Xhaka down here. Wow, we, some of these players are, have been absolutely killed this This season, we'll see the emergence of Eddie and Ketia, Eddie the Cat. Uh, Jenkinson, is he still, still got a bit of me? No, it doesn't really look like any, doesn't look like me anymore, does he? That's probably for the best. So, Leno's going to be starting. I feel like we need to replace, we need a new centre-back. Could do with a long-term left-back replacement. Is this too attacking to have Mkhitaryan and Rat? Do you know what? I'm doing it. There's nothing you can do to stop me. Right, so that's Hang on, continue editing. Other things that are going to happen. Oh, they're already set to constant pressure. That's nice. Um, play a little higher up. Offensive style. Fast build up. We want to bang, bang, bang. Proper rapid. There you go. That animation knows what we're talking about. Players in the box, one extra. We're going to tell Aubameyang to always stay central and get him behind. That's all I want. Oh, apparently someone showed me this the other day. If you... You want to change these guys to, to cover centre for the most part. I'll let I'll let him cover wing, but you don't really want don't want them just put. I don't know. I feel like that'll make a massive gap in the middle. No. So that that that's what our expected starting eleven is going to be. But we've got the transfer market too, don't we? Let's let's not forget. I'll take that back actually. Let's let's just loan some of these out. We've got the Europa League though, so let's be prepared for some depth. I'm gonna. I'm recalling Reese Nelson for a start. Um, Gunduzi, yeah, he can stay. Plegozuelo, he can go out on loan. 
Carl Jenkinson, someone take him. Can't believe we've still got Takuma Asano. Da da da. See you later, Carl. Am I happy with us being. Uh, am I happy with us being left with just Licksteiner to replace it right back? I think I am. Uh, we drew the last game, by the way, just in case anyone's wondering. And we just beat Dortmund again. Two of Bamiyan goals, which is nice. Then I uh, assume that yeah, it takes us to the semi final. Do a little bit more training. Then I'm going to put some uh, some offers in. Load previous sesh. Just get these players like banging through these. These like I want Eddie and Ketia to be good on the ball. I want him to be good at finishing. Bit of pace for uh, for Smith Rowe because he's not the quickest. Torreira is going to be the absolute pass master. He's going to be a baller in midfield. Also, obviously, because the transfer window opens at the start, uh, closes at the start of the season now. I won't be able to get your guys' opinion on transfers yet, but players you think I should sign, I will have loads of budget left over, so pop them in the comments down below. And January window, I'm your man, all right? Uh, uh, I feel like they've not really presented a right lot of interest with these players, so next. Now, our left-back options is interesting because he is a player that obviously uses class and he's amazing on FIFA, but we're not going to sign Andy Robertson, are we? It's a bit, a bit silly. Wouldn't join us. It's frustrating for me because when you've got 100 million quid, you can basically sign anyone that you like, and I could literally go crazy here and sign a top-draw player, but... Um, it's all about that like realism side of things, isn't it? I don't want to be, I don't know, I don't want to ruin the whole thing by going and signing an absolute worldie at centre back. But it's a frustrating one, you know. I feel Ron Magnoli would be a possible one. I feel Jimenez potential. Rafael Varane's the one. Look, he's the one that I want. There's no no beating around the bush. Have we gone past the transfer deadline here? Give you fifty mil. They're going to say 71. 84. I'm going to say 71. Say something. Gives us 43 mil to spend. 74. Counter. 71. I'll give you 16%. So long. We have a deal. Cheers. Don't know why Lopetegui and I would be sat in there discussing it. But, you know, fine. Don't know if I have to go and manually offer him a contract now or if a, a dialogue will appear. Granite, right. Money's going on a centre mid, boys. Just accepted that straight away for some reason. Need to get scouting some centre mids. Five years. That's what they're after. Da, 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 da. That's fine. Accept. Oh, right. He's on 185. Give you 200. A fair offer. Definitely went over on that. Right, so we've got got our got our centre back, the world class centre back. We want to replace Granite Xhaka. Obviously, we've got some future in Guendouzi and a few other players, but oh, we lost we lost the final on pens. That's upsetting. So we want a cent we want a centre mid. One more centre mid, just because we're going to be playing a lot of games this season, and we've got money. Why not? Hang on. West Ham signed Trent Alexander Arnold for 16 million. All right then, Besiktas, get off of my man. All right, no one's having Mohamed El Neni. Everyone can have Osi Tutu if they want though. So, just a little little look at these. I'm interested because Goebbels they signed this this summer. So I'm not sure if it's um, if it's possible to even get any of these. Uh, Timothy Weyer, potential. We'll give it. We'll give it a go. Central mid, world class, box to box, Sergei Milinkovic Savage. Now we're talking and we're cooking with gas. Lanzini's just gone to Wolfsburg. What? Four nows, he looks decent. Keep scouting, shortlist. This is this is who I want. I want the SMS, mate. I know gonna cost an absolute bomb in real life, but let's not forget he is at Lazio. Arsenal have just signed a Bamiang last season and Lacazette. If they stumped up cash, you never know. Look, I'm not saying 
This is a realistic save. I've just bought Raphael Varane, alright? Alright. Got it. Good thing he'd right approach to buy. Can't remember how much cheese I've got. Don't think it's much. Don't think it is much. Oh, it's loads. I've got loads. Why am I panicking? Transfer fee. Let's go 50. And sell on clause 25. Because I am going to have to adjust quite heavily for wage here. Whoa. Wind your necks in, please, people. Let's try that again. Give you a bit more polite this time with your response. Whoa. Selfish. 64. You're going to take some time. Think about 64. Have a little think. Don't know what that was. So let's adjust our, our financial situation. Get in here. Change budget. That'll be enough, right? 200k is not going to want more than that, is he? He's not that greedy. Unacceptable. They want 68 mil. He's on 65k, you know. I reckon we can do 68 mil. So hopefully, he doesn't want anything over like 120k. Crucial player to me. Client's happy with the role. Good. Yeah, obviously. He expects to sign a four year. Fine. Next. Disregard release clause. Wants 100k. Fine. It leaves me with nothing. It's all fine. I'm going to say another one. Another one of these. Stop it, Curtis. Everyone said we're bored of. Stop it. Don't know what I'm doing. Proposing your transfer fee. If you give me 23.8 big ones. So this is apparently their final offer. I'm going to say 22.8. And if you change it. No, that's fine. You're not having him then. Can't be bothered to go through selling him, signing Grimaldo. Not got time for it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have a little training sesh. Going to get ourselves to the day of... Let's go to a press conference. Do you know what we're going to do? Oh, we're not selling. We're not selling El Nenny. Anyone would think we've just bought a uh, world-class centre mid to take his place. What we're going to do, we're going to unnerve Pep Guardiola. Doesn't know... What he's coming up against, does he? So, this is what happens in episode one. Everyone looks happy. We sort out our team. Mustafi relegated to the bench. Who do we take out? Tell you what, he's going all... Doesn't really make sense to do that. But So, in order of players that will be coming into the first team. Like, I see when I... Listen. Let's talk you through the squad. <laughs> I'm waffling here. Leno's going to be in goal. Bella in right back, Rafael Varane, Squadron Mustafi, Nacho Monreal, Torreira is going to sit in front of the defence. We're going to have two class box to box midfielders in Ramsey and Sergei Milinkovic Savic. Sergei, Sergei Milinkovic Savic has just got that extra little bit of pizzazz about him. He's six foot three, four star skills, four star weak foot. He's a boy. Then we've got Meza Erzil just sat in front of them, pinging beautiful balls to our lovely two strikers, Pierre Emerick Aubameyang and Alexandra Lacazette. We've got a constant pressure style, fast build up. Players are gonna be doing the business. And we're gonna have a lot of exciting, exciting stuff in this squad. But that, guys, is gonna bring us to the end of episode one of the Arsenal career mode. Let me know down below. This is gonna be ahead of the next transfer window because I'm sure we'll get ourselves some budget for that. Who you think I should ship out, who I should bring in, if there's any youngsters I should come after. Let me know in the comments down below. The next episode will have the Man City and the Chelsea games in it. And then we'll probably sim a couple of matches as well. So we can get through these at a reasonable pace. Thank you so much for watching this episode though. Uh, please do leave a like if you have enjoyed it. And you would like to see me do more. Subscribe if it's your first time watching. Have a fantastic day. And I'll see you all next time. Bye guys. We've got a constant pressure style. Fast build up. Players are going to be doing the business. And we're going to have a lot of exciting, exciting stuff in this squad. But that, guys, is going to bring us to the end of episode one of the Arsenal career mode. Let me know down below. This is going to be ahead of the next transfer window because I'm sure we'll get ourselves some budget for that. Who you think I should ship out, who I should bring in, if there's any youngsters I should come after. Let me know in the comments down below. The next episode will have the Man City and the Chelsea games in it. And then we'll probably sim a couple of matches as well so we can get through these at a reasonable pace. Thank you so much for watching this episode though. Uh, please do leave a like if you have enjoyed it and you would like to see me do more. Subscribe if it's your first time watching. Have a fantastic day. I'll see you all next time.
Bye, guys.